a fun fact, before I get into the car, I always have to put like a lot of lip gloss because I drive with my mouth open like this. <laughs> Hi everyone, we're in Miami right now and let's get ready together. I'm usually not good at doing get ready with me because I do my makeup in like 15 minutes, but let's take it slow for once and do it together. I'm always proud of being Filipino because I feel like our complexion just stands out. So if I'm like in Miami, somewhere hot, tropical, I want a very bronzy like look. Or if it's like cold or snowing, I'd want something very like rosy and stuff. So yeah, I think it, it really depends where you are in the part of the world. So fun fact, I've had my beauty sponge for like five years or something. <laughs> this is a new one. <laughs> We're off to spot concealing. I don't know why, but I just, I can't live without a good lip gloss. I feel like dry lips is like, it's just so bad. You're like talking to people, you've got trapped lips. I'm like, I can't, I'm so self-conscious about that. So, <laughs> so it always has to be damp or else I'm just gonna be annoyed the whole race. I love the finger. I mean, like, if it's like spot concealing, it's just like, your skin's like the best. It's, it always comes out super smooth. You have to like imagine when you're in the car, you're constantly just in a roller coaster of like emotions, you know, highs, lows, and, and it's always about keeping that kind of equilibrium within you. You know, when you're in the car, when you get in, it's about deafening all, the, all that noises around you as well. And so you like kind of always have to have good self-control. And sometimes it's so easy to get lost in the emotions and the adrenaline and people around you. I think if there was one thing that actually allowed me to be myself and to kind of bring me back to who I am is probably, yeah, doing makeup. Like, after a race, I want to look good, I want to feel good. Like, it's super cringy, I know, but I just love it. I mean, I love that I don't have to change myself, even if I have that helmet on. When I was growing up, I, was, I wasn't actually feminine. Like, I'd go into a track, I'd have like a snap, like a snapback hat on, and I tried, I tried so hard to mix with the boys and to look one of them. And like, I was like, told my dad, oh, I hated whenever I wore like a pink shirt or like a purple pants or whatever. And it was because I just didn't feel like I belonged whenever I looked feminine. So and then I actually got into art. That's actually when the same time I started learning about makeup and all that stuff. Racing is like art, it is art. I mean, art is my center. At the same time, I get to live through it in different aspects of my life. And I guess makeup was one of them. I loved how it made me feel confident. And I love the fact that I can wear my lipstick and still be fast on track and it doesn't really define who you are. So it kind of allowed me to embrace myself in the world of motorsport. That didn't really matter how, how well you blend in, but how bold you stand out. And the fact that I get to do that with makeup was amazing. It's half the battle. Confidence is half the, half the battle. I always tell myself that. Obviously, when you're at the other side, well, the other side of the world in the Philippines, when the opportunities are very slim and the chances of you making it are close to zero, especially in the world of motorsport. When we're not known for racing. We're not known to have racetracks or to have racing drivers. Like, gosh, I can imagine all the things that I heard growing up, people telling me to dream less. And I think kind of having that environment growing up was one of the biggest challenges because in the end, no one really believed apart from my parents. So I kind of owed it to myself to believe in me too. The hardest part is the, the beginning. And along the way, you find that group of people that will rally behind you. And I think that's so important to have that core group. And, you know, it, it takes a village to build a champion and that's what they've given me. And, you know, I always tell myself, it's not supposed to be easy. If it was, everyone else would be doing it. You just kind of get stronger as you go along. So, yeah. <laughs> this is like the best part. You get a new one. It's so white and all that stuff. You just kind of like squeeze it out. Contour is my best friend. I feel like because racing matters so much to me, I'm able to become the best version of myself. When I'm in the car, when I'm on track, I feel fierce, I feel powerful and being that little bubble of just be whoever you want to be and I think whenever I zone in, I am that person. Once you zone in, you just know it. Once you get in the car, everything else is kind of silent. I think it's one of the best feelings in the world, actually, because nothing else matters when you're in the car. Everything's kind of silent. You feel the engine, you hear the engine and nothing else matters. She's back with the finger blend. <laughs> I love it. I love my fingers. I'm Filipino. I eat with my hands. Now my favorite part, eyebrows. Eyebrows, they don't have to be twins, but they do need to be sisters. Mine be looking like cousins, that's all right. 
And because it's Miami, I want um, like a bronzy look, so sun-kissed, you know, naturally tan though, so don't need to stay in the beach too long. I don't know what to use. That's just the beauty of being an athlete, isn't it? It's like every opportunity is a learning opportunity. And I guess one of the, well, one of the most, like my most learnings in life has been through motorsport. I've kind of always just used my achievements as a validation to find happiness, which is something I should never have done. You know, I feel like you should never link your self-worth to your achievements in life and just need to be happy within yourself. I've learned to just take in every opportunity and just be happy with what I have and finding those little outlets in life to express yourself and to not always look at results or achievements. So I think that's one of the biggest learnings I've had. I carry this with me everywhere because it just does everything. It's like, it's bronzy, it's blush, it's highlighter, it's like everything all in once. So it's like, so it's like a very peachy tone of blush, which is also, it's technically a highlighter, but I use it as a blush. Um, and it just matches with my olive skin so well. Like, even if I put like, like a lot of product, it like, it just blends so well. It's like, you don't even see it. It's just very subtle. But you just, it's there, you know it's there, like it just defines the whole look. And I put it over my nose as well, so it's like very like sun-kissed. So yeah, it's kind of like my holy grail. <laughs> okay, so we're on to the eyes. Well, I love eyes. It's like, it just makes, it makes or breaks your whole makeup look. Like a good eye look is like... Whew, all right. <laughs> So I would mix my foundation with contour because I love a very bronzy eye look. It's close to your skin tone, so it's very natural. Normally, I just I, I just use this as like eyeshadow. That like that's it. If I'm going for like a very like low key look to the track or something, or if I want like a no makeup makeup look, because it just defines your your eyes. It just kind of gives it that like cat eye look. And then you can put like eyeshadow powder over it, so then it just stays on longer. Especially when it's like 30 degrees in Miami, you'd want that makeup to stay on. <sighs> It'll be a challenge this week. <laughs> Eyeliners, make or break. It's like, whew. My hidden talent is I can do eyeliner like when I'm in the car. I've got like the most precise hand. It's like, I can like really like, I'm really, really good with my hands. Like, okay, what is this technique? I need, I need to know what you're doing right now. What I'm making that? such an ugly face. Can you do that to this camera? Uh, uh, that's exclusive content, guys. No. It's because I have a smile line, because I smile a lot. So, like, you have this, like, smile line over here. Because I smile all the time, it creates, like, this crease over here. And so, every time I put makeup on, it kind of, I naturally always have it. So. Like one way to like get rid of it when you're doing your makeup is making this face so you're like your skin's like stretched out. So you're like mm, 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 mm. And it's gone! And so you smile again, so just don't smile. Like fierce like, like this all the time. Whew. Okay, so no more smiling. <laughs> I'm joking. I already failed. <laughs> she glowing! <laughs> I can do like a full face of makeup in like 15 minutes. But actually, that's because of all the techniques I've used. Basically, I don't actually need a lot of makeup. Like, because I use my hands naturally, so that's already, like, taking away all the brushes I need. My eyeshadow makeup is, like, literally my bronzer and my contour. Foundation, yeah. Foundation probably takes the longest because you want a good base. You know, that's the only way to go up if you got a good foundation. Actually, it takes me longer to decide what, which makeup look I'm going for rather than doing the actual makeup. Ooh, the, she's red. She's red, red. Hardest decisions in life. Which lip liner to use? <laughs> Secret! You can trust the process, trust the process. So I got my blush and my foundation. And this normally should be the best foundation, like um, the base shade of your lips. Because normally like when you do your lips, you kind of have like those lines and, the and like the concealer kind of fills in those lines. So your lips look just like like baby, it's like baby lips. It's like, she flawless, she's she's hydrated, she's drinking water, she's everything. <laughs> this is actually my favorite lipstick. She's been through a lot. She's like all dent and beaten up. <laughs> because I do like, 
I do art, I draw. So it's kind of the same principle when you're like shading, you know? So I know how to like shade, I know how to like blend. And I think that's really important with makeup. And it's like knowing just like, yeah, which which colors look good together. I love how this feels too, it's a popgasm. It just makes you feel like you ate a lot of spicy food. <laughs> it's supposed to make your lips like really pumpy. And as much as I love matte, I, I love a good gloss. Oh, it feels so good. He's spicy. It just looks like so natural. It looks like you just, yeah, you hydrated. Just drank a lot of water. And then just to top it all off. And then it's like, it's, it's, it's golden. You gotta you stay golden. So um, this is like normally like lasting. I, I put like freaking like 10 million different products on my lips, but it's so important. Like it's the first thing people see sometimes. Eyes and lips. So you gotta make sure they look good. And this one has like gold glitters on it. I'll probably just do a little bit of touch up. <laughs> it's my makeup palette. Am I my eyebrows even? Are they even? Sisters. Not twins, but they sisters. Mine's our cousins right now. Mm. Setting spray. I mean, once everything's set, you can just go as fast as you want. And you know, like when I put on that helmet, I'm confident that it's gonna stay there. So I'm ready for the podium. I do drown myself in like make in setting spray. But yeah. I'm race ready. <laughs>